ఓం శ్రీ లక్ష్మీ నరసింహాయన మహ వాల్మీకి రామాయణ యుద్ధకాండ చాప్టర్ ఫార్టీ సిక్స్ ఇంద్రజీత్ రిటర్న్స్ టు లంక బిలీవింగ్ రామా డ్యాడ్ సమరీ ద మంకీస్ అలాంగ్ విత్ హనుమా అండ్ అంగద బిగాన్ బిగిన్ టు గ్రీవ్ ఆన్ బిహోల్డింగ్ ద ప్లైత్ ఆఫ్ రామా అండ్ లక్ష్మణ హూ వెర్ ఎన్ ట్వాయింట్ ఇన్ ఇంటర్ నెట్వర్క్ ఆఫ్ ఆరోస్ ఇంద్రజీత్ ఇన్ఫార్మ్స్ డెమెన్స్ అబౌట్ ఇస్ అడ్వెంచర్ ఆఫ్ క్యాప్టివేటింగ్ బోత్ రామా అండ్ లక్ష్మణ బై హిస్ నెట్వర్క్ ఆఫ్ సర్పెంటైన్ ఆరోస్ ఇంద్రజీత్ స్ట్రైక్స్ ద అదర్ మంకీ చీఫ్స్ లైక్ నీలా మైంద ద్వీద హనుమ గవాక్ష అండ్ అంగద యాజ్ ఆల్సో జాంబవాన్ వెన్ సుగ్రీవా లుక్స్ డిప్రెస్డ్ ఆన్ సీయింగ్ ద ప్లైత్ ఆఫ్ రామా అండ్ లక్ష్మణ విభీషణ కన్సోల్స్ ఇన్ సీయింగ్ దట్ రామా ఇస్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు డై he also reassures the disheartened monkeys and infuses confidence in them indrajit in the meanwhile informs ravana that both rama and lakshmana has been killed ravana applauds his son for his daring act chapter 46 in detail thereafter surveying the earth and the sky the monkeys beheld the brother rama and lakshmana covered with arrows then along with sugriva vibhishana came to that place after indrajit finished his work and retired even as indra would after raining Neela, Dvida, Mainda, Sushena, Kumuda, Angada along with Hanuma forthwith began to grieve for Rama and Lakshmana. Breathing but faintly, bathed in blood, riddled with innumerable arrows, motionless and lying inactive, they lay stretched on a bed of arrows, signing like serpents, helpless, having little prowess, their limbs smeared with a stream of blood, resembling two golden standards and lying on a hero's couch. Those warriors with tardy movements of their limbs were surrounded by their monkey leaders whose eyes were suffused with tears seeing the two ragavas pierced by a multitude of arrows all the monkeys along with vibhishana became perturbed the monkeys surveyed all the quarters in the sky without being able to discover indrajit the son of ravana who was wielded by his magic powers in the fight vibhishana beholding by his magic art saw the nep- that nephew standing nearby duly hidden by his occult power although the warrior who had no peer in the field who had unique exploits had made himself invisible by virtue of the boon he had received he was recognized by vibhishana who was full of energy glory and prowess contemplating his own feet indrajit gazed on the two warriors stretched on the earth and in excess of joy wishing to sh- share it with all the demons said the exceedingly strong brothers rama and lakshmana the killers of khara and Dushana have been killed by my arrows even where they aided by the gods and demons with the host of sages these two brothers would never be able to release themselves from those arrows that paralyzed them this nonsense pest which was wearing away the very roots of us all on whose accounts the three watchers of the night slipped past my father who is unable even to touch his couch with his limbs who remain absorbed in the thought and stricken with grief and because of whom the entire city of lanka remain agitated like a river during the rains has been destroyed by me as clouds are useless in the autumn so are the exploits of rama and lakshmana and all the monkeys thus speaking to all the demons indrajit the son of ravana by his arrow struck by the monkey chief striking neela with nine arrows indrajit the destroyer of force tormented mainda and dvida with three superb arrows on each Indrajit the welder of a great bow smacked the chest region of Jambavan with an arrow and released 10 arrows towards Hanuma the swift monkey Indrajit the son of Ravana of great swiftness struck both Gavaksha and Sharaba of unbound valor with two arrows on each of them in that battle thereafter Indrajit the son of Ravana swiftly with his various arrows struck Gavaksha the ruler of Golangulas and then Angada the son of Vali too Indrajit the strong and highly courageous demon pierced those jewels among the monkeys there with his arrows which resembled flames of fire and began to shout in trump tormenting them with a multitude of arrows and frightening the monkeys the mighty armed indrajit heartily laughed and spoke as follows o demons at the forefront of the army behold those two brothers rama and lakshmana bound together by me by a terrible network of my arrows all those demons the treacherous fighters on their part after hearing the words of indrajit were seized with a great wonder and were overjoyed all of them cheered indrajit anonymously with a roar like unto thunder crying rama is dead seeing the two brothers rama and lakshmana lying motionless and breathless on the floor indrajit thought they were dead indrajit full of joy and victorious in conflict returned to lanka spreading happiness among the demons seeing rama and lakshmana riddled with arrows and pierced in every limb and bone of their bodies a great fear had taken possession of sugriva 
Vibhishana then spoke to that Sugriva was frightened, whose eyes were filled with tears, looking helpless, and whose eyes were agitated in grief. Have no fear, O Sugriva, stay this rush of tears. Wars are, are like this. Victory is not certain. O warrior, if a remnant of luck is there with us, the high-souled and exceedingly strong Rama and Lakshmana will drive off this loss of consciousness. O Sugriva, be courageous and bring about courage in me. Having no protector for those who are devoid, devoted to truth and righteousness, there is no fear of death. Thus speaking, Vibhishana then wiped the charming eyes of Sugriva with his hands, moistened in water. Then the poised minded Vibhishana took water, enchanted it with an incantation and wiped the eyes of Sugriva. Having dried the face of the wise Sugriva, Vibhishana spoke the following words, full of good sense and comfort. O Sugriva, the king of monkeys, this is not the time to cling to despondency. At this hour, even too much attachment leads to death. Therefore, abandoning your despair, which ruins all action, focus now on how best to serve the troops which have, have Rama going before them. Or else let Rama be protected till he regains consciousness. Having regained consciousness, Rama and Lakshmana can indeed drive away the fear of both of us. There is nothing to Rama, nor Rama is going to die. The bodily splendor which is difficult to be found in those whose longevity of life has run out is not abandoning him. Therefore, console yourself and call on your prowess till I restore confidence in the entire ranks. O oh, the foremost of the monkeys, these monkeys, having their eyes dilated due to fear, are signaling some words into each other's ears, terrified as they, they were. Let the monkeys cast off their fear, even as one would disc discard a used garland on seeing me running about to activate the troops. Having emboldened Sugriva, Vibhishana, the foremost of the demons, once again reassured that army of monkeys who were pushing away. Indrajit, the, the great conjurer, surrounded by all his forces, re-entered the city of Lanka. Approaching Ravana there and saluting with joint palms, Indrajit informed his father in pleasing words that both Rama and Lakshmana has, uh, had been slain. Hearing in the midst of demons the news that both the enemies have been killed, Ravana forthwith sprang on his feet in joy and embraced his son. Smelling on his head, Ravana, delighted at heart, made enquiries in the matter. Indrajit reported the matter as it happened to his inquiring father as to how both Rama and Lakshmana were made motionless and lusterless by entwining them with arrows. Hearing the words of Indrajit, the great charioteer Ravana, with his heart filled with a gush of joy, relinquished his anguish, caused on account of Rama and applauded his son with pleasing words. Thus complete the 46th chapter of Yuddha Kanda of the glorious Ramayana of Valmiki, the work of his age and the oldest epic, Sri Moolarama Vijayate, Om Sri Krishna Arpanamastu.